Good morning. On behalf of Clarendon School District 2, Manny High School, and the graduating class of 2022, I welcome each of you here today. As always, with an occasion such as graduation, it is important that we mention first our expectations. Let us remember that graduation is momentous and dignified occasion. Each graduate is of equal importance and deserves his or her moment to shine. The first graduate receiving his or her diploma is just as important as the last. There should be absolute silence at all times during the ceremony, which again is a once-in-a-lifetime event. We are requesting that you refrain from talking loudly, shouting, applauding, making unnecessary noises, or yelling. You are also asked to please remain in your seats during the entire ceremony. If you have cell phones in your possession, we ask that you please turn them off at this time or place them on vibrator. Again, during the award of the poems, please hold your applause so that each student's name can be heard. Thank you for your cooperation in helping us to make this important occasion remarkable. Please stand for the entrance of the class of 2022.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning to our honorable princess. Oh, y'all can be sitting, sorry. <laughs> Good morning to our Honorable Principal Assistant, Principal, Assistant Principals, Teachers, District Personnel, and in the Manning High School Class of 2022. It is a great honor and privilege that as Class President, I welcome you to our commencement ceremony, honoring the wonderful class of 2022. I would be traditional and say this is the beginning of a new journey in our lives, but our journey started a long time ago. This is the chapter in our journey where we go our separate ways on our unique paths. Most of our journey, we did it together. Most of us have been in the school district since MECC. Remember the days when our teachers used to walk us to our classes and our parents and grandparents used to eat breakfast with us? Remember the book fair, field days, fun Fridays, our first homecoming, our court card celebration, and some of our other kids events in our time as a honor. We have such memorable moments together, from eighth grade graduation to now graduating from high school together. Some are still undecided. 
No matter what category you fall under, I have no doubt that your future has the potential to be extremely bright. As your class family friend, I want to share with you some words of encouragement that will help us as we transition into this next phase of life. I feel it is critical that we are humble, self-confident, and respectful. First, be humble. Former legendary UCLA basketball coach John Wooden once said, you are no better than anyone else, and no one is better than you. He is talking about humility, and I have no doubt that possessing this trait will take you far in life. Whether you are sitting in the front row as an honor graduate or are seated in alphabetical order, we all get the exact same diploma today. Our diplomas represent success, hard work, and dedication, and that is something we should all be so very proud of while remaining humble. Second, be confident in who you are. Each and every one of you are loved, valued, and have a purpose. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you are less than or that you don't measure up. Your talents don't have to necessarily be academically based. You can excel in sports, welding, art, cosmetology, or mechanics, just to name a few. I encourage you all to find your passion and go all in with it. You only get one life to live, and it needs to be an abundant life, full of the things that make you the happiest, regardless of what anyone else may tell you. Always embrace who you are and be confident in what makes you unique. Last but not least, be respectful of others. Just as you deserve to be treated with respect for who you are, it is important for you to remember to treat others the same. The people you encounter will remember you not for your success and accomplishments, but rather for how you made them feel. No matter where you go in life or what you become, your ability to be kind and love others well remains the same. Of course, all of the academics we learned in high school were important, but what is even more important is that we know how to treat people the way we want to be treated, and that is with love and respect. In closing, the singer Natasha Bedingfield says in one of her most famous songs, Today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. As scary as it sounds, the rest really is unwritten. We may have an idea of what our future holds, but the reality is, we really don't know. Instead of entering this next chapter of life with the fear of the unknown, I challenge you to be confident and ready to embrace whatever life throws your way. If you always remain humble, self-confident, and respectful, you will be better prepared for your unwritten future. Our schools have done a phenomenal job of teaching us academics and life skills thus far. But now, it is up to us to take what we have learned, spread our wings, and fly. I am so unbelievably proud of each and every one of you, and I mean that with my whole heart. Today is very bittersweet, as our time as a monarch officially comes to an end. As our alma mater says, in our hearts will not forget Manny High. I hope you will never forget our wonderful school and what it has done for us. Thank you faculty and staff from Manny High School and also from all of the other schools in our district for pouring so much into us and for helping shape us into who we are today. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see what life takes you to do. I've been a hard work. Since the day I was born, and I always love you. I have the monarch spirit for me and us all forever. Thank you.
Thank you all for helping us get to where we are today. Thank you to all of those who stayed up a little too late helping us with those papers that we waited last minute to do. Thank you to the faculty and staff who worked to make our high school run. Thank you to our teachers who didn't give up on us. And most importantly, we all need to say a big thank you to God for getting us where we are today. Class of 2022, a lot can happen in four years, a lot more than we thought. We have survived not only high school, but a pandemic. A pandemic that came along with an entirely new form of high school, e-learning. Which reminds me, I almost forgot to thank the creators of Quizlet for helping my class night tonight get through this world. It was a major part of our high school careers. We would be disillusioned if we tried to act like it never occurred. I think we may have learned more from it than we realized we would have. We learned more about ourselves, and we learned to be more grateful for what we have. Being unable to do some of the things that we love to do the most, like going to a football game or hanging out with our friends, brought us the ability to appreciate them even more once we got them back. While the events of the past few years were challenging, we prevailed, like we always do. And we even managed to sneak in our senior year in person. In my time here at Maine High School, I have learned this one major life lesson that I would like to leave you all with today. That lesson can be summed up in these simple words. Nothing is made before you. You may be thinking I sound crazy right now, but am I wrong? All of these mandatory things that you do in life don't necessarily have to be done. But we choose to do them so that we don't have to face the consequences of not doing them. There is nothing in life that we have to do. We are not forced to be here today. We aren't forced to put on these caps and gowns and walk across the stage with smiles on our faces. We aren't even forced to take the necessary precautions to survive, like eating and drinking. All of these, quote, mandatory things all boil down to you and the choice that you make regarding whether you do them or not. We make more than 35,000 decisions every day. Some are small, like what you want to eat for breakfast, and some may be a little big, like what you want to eat for dinner. Knowing that we have all these choices can be scary, nerve-wracking, and exciting. You have the power over your own life, and you choose where you want to go. I say all of this to you to say that you can choose to do anything in your life. You can go anywhere. I hope you all choose to keep certain things in your life mandatory for yourselves, such as listening to your parents, brushing your teeth, and being kind. Maybe the consequences of some of these things will keep them mandatory for you. I also hope you choose to make your own path and make yourselves proud in the process. We've all been through so much together but we have also all had completely personalized data. We're full of so much diversity, so many different paths, so many different experiences, but we all ended up in the same place. Here at 2155 Paxville Highway in South Carolina. There's a reason God placed us all here, so our paths can align. I wish I could tell you that I know what that reason is, but I don't. Not yet, anyway. Either way, I would like to say that I am honored to share this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. I hope that you are all proud of yourselves as well. Most importantly, I want you to know that I'm very proud of all of you. No matter where you came from, what you look like, where you're going, or how different you may be, you are and always will be a class of 2022 on Earth. As you walk across the stage, fill your hearts with pride, joy, and bask in your success because you've earned it. I'm going to miss all of you, but I know Kia is going to plan an amazing reunion. I wish we had a little more time together, and I wish I realized how fast time flies. Kesha was right when she said, I wish somebody would have told me that someday these would be the good old days. You all have made these the good old days, and I will never forget it. Lastly, I would like to leave you with Robonics. Marshals, please take your places.
Patty Evelyn Laney, valedictorian. Abigail Elizabeth Owen, salutatorian. Henry Jordan Williams. Darren Michael Dawkins. Rhea Savani Ashman. Landon McKay Holiday. McClendon George Gay. Thomas Gabriel Dooley. Elizabeth Louise Liston Morris. Sadie Villapon Two Johnson. Timothy Clinton Goldsmith Jr. Price Erskine Bailey. Victoria Irene White. Omar Antonio Woods. William Cooper Jones. Kia Monet Jones. Paul Copeland Floyd. Imani Bell. Elena Sierra Mazik. Eoy Perez Paz. Azaria Janae Lemon. Tanasia Shamari Dad. Zashan Jaden Asher. Bobby Carnell Allen Jr. Noemi Azmarano Meza. Maria Estefany Alvarez Ochoa. Jennifer Alvarez Santos. Mackenzie Brianna Anderson. Sharon Lynn Bridget Anderson. William 
DeLeon R. Zakaira Melody Avant. Bryson Scott Beal. David Lee Bennett Jr. Janoria Sinise Bennett.
Ananda Shanon Harvey. Rihanna Taasia Harvey. Rachel Paige Hazelden. Nevaeh Charnay Madeline Hill. Amari Tanasia Hilton. Maya Danielle Hilton. Tykira Alea Hilton. Aubrey Shannon Huggins.
Layla Denise Owens. Cameron Jarrell Pat. Haley Lynn Parker. Jemias Donnell People. Deontay Lamont Plowden. Zakia Monet Pringle. Amante Raheem Reagan.
Dalton Nathaniel Witherell. David Trey Witherell. Imani Shanice Witherspoon. Keyshawn Trayvon Witherspoon. Vikane Matrell Witherspoon. Rian Raymond James Woods. Lyric Unique. York Jalen Devon Young and Destiny Denala Z. Having completed and satisfying all requirements as regulated by the South Carolina Department of Education to Dr. Sean Johnson, Superintendent, and the members of the Board of Trustees of Clarity School District 2, I now present these candidates to you to become recipients of a high school diploma from Manning High School. Congratulations class of 2022.